And out of those hospital admissions, which are at an all time high over 102,000 healthcare workers are overwhelmed by the record number of patients. Our cameras visiting some of them in Montana, where doctors and nurses are now being treated in the ICU. Our chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, is in Billings with more this morning. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Michael. This hospital's ICU is at over 200% capacity, which is why they've had to transform what were offices into ICU rooms. Now, at some point in the near future, there will be four ICU rooms here. But as you mentioned, one of the major concerns is not only that hospitals will be overwhelmed with patients, but that they won't have the medical staff to treat them. This morning, nationwide, COVID deaths are up 50% just since last week. Her face is incredibly puffy. Here at the Billings Clinic in Montana, a patient flatlining right in front of us. Nurses rushing in. What you're seeing behind me is them preparing to go in because someone is crashing. Either their lungs have stopped, uh, they've stopped breathing, or they're having a cardiac arrest. That patient would not survive. The ICU here at the biggest hospital in Montana is at about 200% capacity. They're now worried about losing nurses. The hospital lost a doctor from the virus 10 days ago, and now ICU nurse Ellen Edland is on life support. Kelly Duffy is her best friend of 20 years, also a former ICU nurse. Oh, it was the first time she's seen the 55 year old Edland since she was placed on a ventilator. The hospital and the family granting us extraordinary access. You gotta stay strong. I need you. That's so much more to do. Ellen asked you, Am I gonna die? But you couldn't tell her categorically, No. Because a lot of what we see is that when people get on the ventilator, they do die. And across the country, leaders are bracing for the worst. Without substantial mitigation, the middle of January can be a really dark time for us. Those calls still not heated. A megachurch in South Missouri holding Christmas celebrations this weekend with at least 3,400 in attendance. The Springfield, Missouri's health department saying they were shocked and deeply saddened to see these images, calling the gathering irresponsible and insulting to the people on the front lines. Back in Ellen's hospital room in the Billings Clinic, a moment of hope. I mean, she definitely opened her eyes yeah, when, when you came in. she did. An, an incredible moment just a, a couple minutes ago. We spoke with Ellen's doctor and she has been taken off the ECMO machine. So they're actually cautiously optimistic about her recovery. Now, nationwide, the biggest concern going forward are holiday gatherings, something that Dr. Anthony Fauci said could trigger a surge upon a surge. Robin. Okay, Matt, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.